like laundry folding or any, like la doing laundry in general folding towels folding clothes folding clothes are worse than folding towels raise your hand if you can agree raise your hand I, I, I for sure think so anyways we are going to go to the doctors today again another doctor's appointment but I guess it's for my hip but it's not it's more for the free fluid in my pelvis that was found in on the MRI and CT scan and it was an incidental final meeting that it was it was found on accident it wasn't meant to be found but it could be connected to my hip it could not be so if it was connected to my hip it wouldn't be it would not long no longer be an incidental finding so could the hip and the uh, free fluid be connected well, I guess we're gonna find out today a little bit. They can eat, they can probably drain the fluid, and if it is connected to my hip, my hip might heal. But the free fluid, we might have to get a scope and see where the source is coming from, where is it, how much is really in there, and what is it causing. But we are, we are heading towards to, to the doctor today. The appointment is at 9:45, but we're gonna be there at 9:15. So we're gonna leave at like 8:45. It's 8:35 right now. Spent all morning sleeping and doing laundry so not the most productive morning uh youtube wise but yeah but uh it's gonna be one crazy day uh tomorrow is new year's eve that's crazy right tomorrow is a new year's eve that is just mind boggling mind boggling it's been officially six months since i had my last run Jan july 17th when that happened i at least thought i was gonna run before the new year's ended but no i that's not the case. It's been a hard year. Running wise, never met my goals, never accomplished the goals I wanted to, but it's it's all part of the journey, it's all part of the process. I have to trust the process and everything happens for a reason. I'm still a little sick as you can tell. My nose is quite congested, but it, everything happens for a reason. It really, really does. Um, you just have to trust the process and this injury is all a part of the journey. It's whether or not you can trust it or not. But time to go get the coffee before we leave for the doctor. Because it's it's a necessity, if you know what I mean. Coffee is a necessity. Uh, so I'm going to actually get to you the question of the day. Do you drink coffee and what do you put in your coffee? Do you like it black coffee? Do you like Splenda in your coffee? Do you like sugar in your coffee? Do you like caramel flavoring in your coffee? I don't really know. There's so many different coffee things out there. But we are gonna go get the coffee. So, let's go.
Come on. Where's this? Where's this? This is our new dog, hopefully. I hope. I hope he's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. Everybody, yes, I am in glasses. Quite look different, but my contacts are bothersome, so I have glasses on. But it's actually a week later from that doctor's appointment because I actually got surgery. I, I had surgery done on my appendix. I had no idea that was going to happen. had no idea I was going to have surgery. And so it's a week later because I was not up for filming. I did not feel good. I had terrible shoulder pain. I had terrible uh, stomach pain. Um, I didn't feel good. I had COVID and all that. And I, I was just not up for filming. Anyways, I'm quite feeling better now. I'm still a little ti uh, tired from surgery. Still a little abdominal pain. Still bloating from the surgery because they did move my intestines and move a bunch of stuff around. They also pumped me up with gas. So I'm still quite bloating. The bloating, they say I'll be fully recovered in two to four weeks. The bloating could go down in, officially in like 12 weeks. But that's what the internet said. I don't know for sure. We go to the doctors actually next Thursday for a checkup to see how everything is going, if the surgery was a success, and all of that. Uh, but I had surgery done, and I'm still feeling it. Um, so anyways, the surgery was a success, and yeah, what we, so let's talk about before that, what the doctor said, what we did, and all of that. So when we first went to the doctor, we went, instead of the orthopedic, we went to the general surgeon for the free fluid incident in my pelvis, which, was actually drained in the surgery. We'll talk about that later in the video. I'll tell you why we end up draining the fluid. Anyways, so what happened is he said, just sum up the story. We need. I need to stretch more because my IT band, uh, my hamstrings uh, are so, so tight and that I need to stretch more and that could be one of the reasons it could be causing pain. Also, the free fluid could be be causing pain but it also could not be causing pain and so we talked about a scope going in with the scope drain the fluid see where the maybe the fluid is coming from uh, then they send off the fluid to a lab and see what is this free fluid maybe where it's coming from is it causing hip pain is it causing bunch of things and he also said PT is a must and I actually did PT yesterday so we'll see if PT actually works and hopefully fingers crossed it does not get worse I'm telling you, I hope it does not start inflaming up again and get worse and start becoming more irritated than it is. And yeah, but I am quite sore from PT. But so we end up like, he's like, well, let's just do the scope. Let's see, let's just get see this fluid, see if we can actually see it with our human eye and see whatever. So we went in, we got uh, prep for surgery, all that, uh, because it, they, the incisions and all that is surgical. And anyways, so that took about like three hours before we actually went into surgery. And then they put me with, what's that sleeping drug? Um, I forget what it's called. Anyways, they did that and I was like falling asleep immediately. But I apparently someone talked about running to me on the elevator, my mom said. I don't really remember that uh, because I was like half asleep. Anyways, two hours passed, I believe, and I came out of surgery. And actually, I found out that I had my appendix taken out. And I was like, what? Really? How? And I was still like uh, dozing off, kind of like clueless. I was just on and off sleeping. And I was pretty high because of the drugs I was on because of the surgery. Anyways. So we went to the recovery room and 
my parents were told that I had appendix surgery and then I was told that I had appendix surgery and I was just like confused why I had appendix surgery I was just like why did I have that because we were supposed to be out of the hospital that day because it's just going in with the scope seeing where the fluid is and draining it so we they did drain the fluid they did uh, take out my appendix also the fluid was actually green and so they sent it off to the lab and the lab results actually showed nothing it was just showed fluid uh, probably when I go back to the doctor on Thursday, we might ask like why the fluid wasn't anything and just more in-depth detail about this fluid and maybe was it causing hip pain and where was it coming from and maybe can this fluid come back because I don't want this fluid to come back because maybe it could be causing the hip pain. But anyways, we went to surgery and I mean we recovered from surgery a week later. Uh, we went into the hospital room and we stayed the night. I was still so drugged up that I ate a lot of food. I ate marinara, pasta, chicken tenders, cookie, pudding, broth, broccoli, tons of food. Delicious. I love um, hospital food. Now let's actually get you the question of the day. Have you ever... Wait, no. Question of the day. Do you like hospital food? Because I actually do. I love hospital food. For some weird reason. I don't know if I was just so high or drugged up and I haven't eaten all day that it tasted so good or it actually tasted really really good but anyways back to the free fluid the free fluid showed nothing on the lab but let's go back to the, why the we had appendix surgery so we had appendix surgery because we, when they went in with the scope to see where the fluid was coming from they checked all around to make sure everything was good they saw that the appendix was enlarged and kind of inflamed so they took it out because it could have been it could have it could have burst and poisoned me and Maybe it could have caused my death. Why? I mean, appendix deaths are rare, but why could it have caused it? Because maybe it could have burst it, and maybe the appendix was actually causing the hip pain on the left side, the parallel side, I believe, if I remember some math stuff. If it did burst, it could have just caused more hip pain. And I was like, man, I'm really in hip pain today, but it was actually, the appendix was burst, and it could have been poisoning me and killed me. I could, we could have easily went, there's something wrong with the appendix. We need to be rushed to the emergency room. Uh hospitalized and go to appendix surgery. Yes, that could have happened and my life could have been saved because appendix deaths, like I said, are very rare. Uh, I put it on the screen, how rare they are. Uh, but anyways, maybe they're not rare. I don't really know. But anyways, if it did present more hip pain on the, my left side, the injury side, it could have poisoned me and I could have been killed. So everything happens for a reason. Why? Like, if I didn't have this injury, we wouldn't have the MRI done, which would have shown free fluid. We wouldn't have a CT scan, which would have shown free fluid. And so, therefore, we wouldn't have the scope saying maybe we can a scope to see the fluid and where it's coming from and what it is and all that. The fluid was actually green. Weird. I think I mentioned that. But if I don't, the fluid was this weird green color. And, it, yeah. So, we, we went. We, they were like, we need to do the scope because it was so they can find the free fluid and drain it. If we didn't drain the free fluid on the scope, we probably wouldn't find the appendix inflamed and it could have burst it, resulting in me dying. I'm just being honest with y'all. I could have died. So, every, like I said, everything happens for a reason. I'm glad I'm not dead. I could have bursted today. I don't know. It, so, it's thankful for my... Overall, I'm thankful for my injury. I have been keeping positive, and I'm really positive about this. It could have caused my death. And just because uh, we wouldn't have known if we didn't get the MRI, the CT scan, and end up doing the scope, we wouldn't have found the free flu, which would result in the scope, which would result in us find, the doctors finding, the surgeons finding the appendix to be swollen and enlarged and whatnot. So they wouldn't have taken it out and it could have burst it. It could have started enlarging and when the hip pain started a year ago. Or it could have started becoming bigger, enlarged, and whatnot when I had this weird hip, I mean, not this weird groin uh, stomach pain uh, two years ago around this time um, in December I had pain and it could start enlarging at that point I don't really know when it could have started enlarging but it could have started enlarging and yeah anyways I had sur to just recap I had surgery they took out the free fluid I'm in recovery mode still so that is gonna wrap up my little rant about that hopefully I can start running again soon because maybe maybe the appendix uh, was actually causing hip pain. Maybe the free fluid that is now drained was causing hip pain. Anyways, let's get you the question of the day. Stephen Smith, I know this question of the day is actually for Matthew, or comment, comment is for Matthew, but I'm actually going to make it the comment of the day. Stephen Smith says, great video, just curious, how come you prefer the longer distances? Just being nosy, lol. 
So, me and Matthew actually both prefer longer distances because speed, I don't know, speed is tough on the heart and I get really burnt out and tired and injured from speed. I mean, it's very fun. Speed is fun. I love the workout burn and the heart and the anaerobic threshold of it. It's fun. It's exhilarating. It's it's painful I and mean, the pain, the good pain, the fun pain. But I love long distances. The hurt of the legs, the legs being tired, you just going on and on. LSD is the best thing. I mean, I can actually go long distance and fast. So what I would actually prefer is just spending my whole day up in the mountains, hiking, running, what I did back in Colorado. So, I mean, I became very overtrained, super burnt out, super tired, mentally, physically drained. But if I got to live my life like that, just climbing mountains, uh, hiking and all that, I would be in Joyland. Very fun to just run up and down mountains, hike with it, do runs and walks in the mountains. Just long, slow distance. Uh, long runs are so much better than speed because it takes up your day. You get more thoughts out and just and you get to run more. I don't know. Running is just amazing. It really, really is. I don't know why I love LSD a lot more. So, anyways, we're going to end the video here. I got you to comment in the question today. Anyways, you can support us on Patreon. It really does help the channel. Thank you to Paul for being our first Patreon supporter. Uh, pledging $12 a month, it really goes to the uh, camera gear like the one I am shooting on. But it really does help the channel. You can also Venmo. You can also PayPal. You can also just Patreon. Or you can just sub share this to your friends and all that. Anyways, make sure you seek happiness, achieve goals, and find glory. I will see you on the next one. Peace.